What's up all my musicians out there? On this extremely quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change your artist's name in DistroKid. Obviously, I have it pulled up right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to upload, of course. Second thing, because I've been getting this question a lot, is you have to have a Musicians Plus account. So yes, if like say you're like, hey Mark, I wanna change my artist's name, DistroKid sometimes will look at that, typically as two artists, or basically multiple artists. With the regular plan, you can only have one artist's name, also with the Musicians Plus, which is an extra $20 a year, so it's $40 a year for it, you can have multiple artists. I do suggest doing that anyway. As a quick side note, and I know it sounds like I'm rambling, you can make your own record label. So when you release music under the normal DistroKid account or the basic account for the $20 a year, it's released under DistroKid. That's like the label name. And to me, no offense to DistroKid, I thought that was a bit tacky. I don't wanna be like, oh, here's released under the DistroKid label. So I obviously made my own label called Men of Music Records. I'm the only one on it, but you know, I just kind of wanted to have kind of some unique things. When you go into the metadata on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, it says released under Meta Music Records. To me, the extra $20 a year to have the record label or a custom record label name, just worth it, so do it. Anyway, so we're gonna go back to the video. So under artist band name, as you can see, I already actually have the maximum of five for the Musicians Plus account. I could always add a new artist name, and as it says here, we're willing to give you a free upgrade and blah, 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 blah for another artist. But basically all you're gonna do is go here and this is gonna be basically a type box similar to this. You're just gonna delete. So I'm gonna show you. And let's say you have like a new artist name. So actually we're Joe Schmo and now I'm gonna be Bob Smith. You're just gonna type in Bob Smith up here. So it's basically just gonna be a type box and you delete and then type in. If it doesn't look like a type box like this, either A, like I said, you fully haven't upgraded to the Musicians Plus account or B, basically you've already maxed out on the amount of artists you can have because with the Musicians Plus account, you can only have maximum five. So we can always do this. If I wanna add a new artist and says, okay, I can do a free one-time upgrade and add another or sixth artist. Also, that'd be a lot. You know, some of these I don't even use anymore, actually. Zigzag with the project I started and then got rid of. But anyway, that's how you do it. Honestly, all you're gonna do is go to artist slash band name after you have a Musicians Plus account, delete whatever's in the type box and type in your new artist name. <laughs> 